slide around. Oh. Hey guys, Brad here, Days of Dirt for Bradbury Racing. I want to thank you for joining me today. We It's been a little bit since we've been in the shop, going on two weeks now. The last video we done was the video you guys seen where we were using our new Weir's shrinker tool. Uh, since then, we've had to wait on a few parts to parts and pieces to come in to finish up Nick's car here. As well as that, since we have made our last video, Dallas and myself have become parents. We, Magnolia was born last Monday, uh, shortly after halftime of the national championship game. So we've been uh, enjoying that. We've been spending some time with her and getting used to, to uh, having a newborn with us and waking up in the middle of the night having to, having to do bottle feeding and trying to get her to go back to sleep and all that. So it's been a learning curve, but we both are super excited about that. We, uh, you know, we, we knew what to expect when we, when we went into it and we can't be more happy and more excited. And, and I think uh, just like our Facebook posts both said, I think she's done got a lot of us wrapped around her fingers. So, uh, Super excited about that. And just to give an update, Dallas is doing great. Magnolia's doing great. Everything went great. Uh, probably a little bit before you see Dallas in another YouTube video, just because of the fact that it's still chilly out here and there's no sense in bringing a newborn out here. So she's staying at home with her, uh, taking care of her. She'll still be commenting on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all that. So you can still talk to her through there, but uh, as far as being in the videos, it'll probably be a little while before she gets back out here. So just to kind of give you guys an up, that was just kind of give you guys an update. Uh, right now, we had to order some fender flares for next car, some body bracing, and some side skirts. The side skirts still haven't came in just yet, but with the fender flares coming in and the body bracing coming in, we should be able to get a little bit of work done on his car and start making some more progress. That way we can get back started on ours. I know the season's coming up pretty quick and we're running out of time, but good thing is we don't like a whole lot. So, uh, you know, it, if you have everything, these bodies don't take that long. And uh, just aside from going over a few odds and ends and just small stuff, our car don't like a whole lot anyway. So, but anyways, let's get started today. Uh, if, you, if you're new to this channel, thank you for being here. If you like what you see, make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button and ring the bell to get the little notifications. That way you can keep up with what we got going on here. Uh, right now it's been kind of slack just cause of the new baby and it's winter and you know, not really a whole lot going on, but once the racing season starts kicking back up, we're hoping to have some more videos uh, coming out again. Uh, we did hit during the time, the two weeks that we've been off, we did hit a thousand subscribers. So thank each and every one of you. Uh, you guys are what makes this worth doing. We thoroughly enjoy doing these videos and we hope to uh, continue to do them. So make sure, uh, make sure you keep interacting with us and let us know what you think. So with that, with that being said, let's get started and see what we can get done today. All right, so let's go get the valence and Bat wings or floppers or fender flares, whatever you're gonna call them, get them out of the box over here. Let's take a look. Let's check our fitment. See if we're in the ballpark at least. Really good. 
see if I can do this without making everything fall off because everything's just kind of sitting there. Ain't nothing been fastened down. Right in there is about where that needs to go. Let's see where we're at on this. Oh yeah, we can deal with that. So the, the nose is something that always kind of kicks my tail just because I'm so particular at how they look. Uh, it'll take me probably all day to do this. Especially the fact that it's not my car. It'll drive me crazy. But then when it is my car, it really drives me crazy. So it's kind of one of the things where sometimes you just got to get it the best you can and go with it. There's the balances. I'll cut open. Let's get our table cleaned off so we can see what we're doing here. All right, so right in here, all I'm doing is I'm going ahead and running some more rivets on the nose here just to help strengthen it up. I'm out here by myself, so uh, it's moving around a lot on me. So I just got to try to add some something to help strengthen it up some more. Um, I get this done, and I'll catch you guys back up after 
after I get this done. It's just really kind of a boring process, right? So I told you guys I was going to uh, get the valence pop riveted on the nose, and then I'd pick you guys back up. Uh, to be honest with you, I failed. Uh, I got in here and got to working and slap forgot about the camera. So uh, just kind of a quick update. I did get the valence pop riveted on. Also got the nose bolted onto the car. Uh, and got the filler panel. It's just semi pop riveted up right now. Got my bead roll around the edge there. I think now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and start locking the fenders down, get them mounted in place. Once I get them mounted in place, then I'll be able to put the flopper panels on. Floppers, bat wings, whatever you wanna call them. This is a quarter turn. This fender mounted on a quarter turn fastener. And what I've got, I've got this neat little tool back there that will uh, line up, and it makes a pretty sharp point in the meat there, so that you can. Drill your holes, and I'll show you what I'm talking about when I quit rambling. You just barely tap it. it May sound like I tapped more hard than I really did. <clears throat> what it is. Got a little sharp point on it right there and it sets down in the fastener for the quarter turn when you tap the top of the metal it makes a little little punched indention right there so that you know exactly where to drill it honestly it's a pretty handy little tool and i don't think it wouldn't but like three dollars maybe
Now let's hope all three of them line up. We'll be good to go on this side. Looks good. Let's try that. Oh yeah. There we go. So now that's on. Now we can put this on. Actually, gonna look good. What do y'all think? <clears throat> Looking like a race car again. That's a plus. Means we're getting closer and closer. Closer and closer. It's all we can ask for. Get a little bit closer every day. Um, should have brought the grill with me, huh? I don't like that. Not too concerned. Right this second, about taking the master tape off because I'm not truly popping the rivets. Uh, what I'm I got to peel the plastic coating off the fenders anyway, so.
Good deal. Plastic protective coat and crap off. This stuff is a pain in the rear. And I, it's nice that it's on there, but it's a pain in the butt getting it off. So let's take it and get it out away from our rear clothes. Get my handy dandy river. Oh boy. Looks like we got one stuck. Harbor Freight. Gotta love it. Okay, left side fender is done. So now what we got to do, what I'll have to do now is just drill my holes for the quarter turn fasteners right here. Get them drilled, get them mounted on, and then uh, move over to the passenger side. Probably won't show that to you guys because it's the same process no sense in boring you but we're moving along slowly but surely all right i didn't get to show you guys much from the last video of getting the nose on and the valence on i know i said i was going to show you more but i noticed the battery on the gopro was getting pretty low so i trying to just make it last at least till i get done so uh anyways got both the floppers on got the valence on got the filler panel the uh, both fender tops still got to do the zeus fasteners for the sides of the fenders uh, i gotta do that on both sides but we did get pretty much the whole nose on i think it turned out pretty nice uh like I said, once again, still got to put the Zeus fasteners right there. And still got to do the bracing to the 
side nose right there as well on both sides. Once we get that done, then all we'll like is the hood. Uh, I got to put the bracing on the cell panel back there and get it locked down. Put the bracing on the body. Get it all situated, riveted on. And then whenever the side skirts come in, we'll have this car pretty much wrapped up. So shouldn't be much longer like like we said in our previous videos this car is for sale if you'd like more information on it you can contact me or i can get you in contact with the guy who owns the car uh if there's something that i don't know about it but it is a 2014 longhorn uh it's got weaver front suspension parts butler built containment seat it's got a five pound fire system I don't know if you can see it down there. It's got the extreme gauges. Tilt and brake system. I believe that's a sweet power steering pump back there. I got a winner's rear end. It's got weaver bird cages. JRI shocks. Carbon fiber drive shaft, fuel safe, fuel cell. Believe that is a Falcon roller slide transmission, I believe. Uh, looks like it's thermal coated. Dream racing suspension. So there it is. Shouldn't be much longer and it should be ready to go. Either to a new home or maybe the guy that owns it, he may decide to continue to race it. So right now just take a quick second. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh hope you maybe learned something. Maybe you can learn me something. If you can, drop it in the comments. Make sure to hit that uh, like, subscribe button. Also want to say thank you to uh, all the people who helped me out. KT Heat and Air, Vincent Race Engines, CrateInsider.com, Daytona One. Also want to give a huge shout out to uh, Wes at Superior Bearings and Supplies. I'll be doing a video shortly on what the, the latest goods that he sent me. They, uh, Wes decided to come back on board with us again for the 2021 season. We, uh, we greatly appreciate everything he has done for us. If you guys are in the market for any kind of bearings, supply, uh, races or seals, make sure you get, get with Wes, uh, let him know we sent you from Days of Dirt here at Bradbury Racing. He's a very easygoing guy and he, the way he explained it to me is if it's not necessarily race car parts. Uh, if it's got a bearing, a race, or a seal, whether it be a tractor, road car, off-road buggy, whatever it is, he said he can get it. So make sure you guys reach out to him and contact him. Make sure you support the people who support us. Uh, not sure when we'll get back out here and do another video. Mm, trying to think. I don't know. I'll let you guys know. But anyways... We're going to sign off for today. I work straight through lunch and uh, fat boys got to eat. So it's supper time. We'll catch you guys later.